This little run through on pipe drive on staying on top of all these different leads with a little bit more efficient way of getting through them because a lot of times people have been sitting there for a while. You look through, you can see there was an outgoing call on the 16th, said she was gonna be sending design picks and all that. Gave her a ballpark of three to four thousand to see what she was looking for. Um, don't forget to click that. First contact should have been clicked as soon as it was happened, either an email or phone call. Um, just wanted to touch base to do one more follow-up. So what you do is you copy their email from here, go into Gmail, compose. I'm just gonna send this under Matt because well, I don't even know what happened there. Compose, there we go. Paste her email. Go in here, say gate follow up. And then what we do is we go into the canned responses down here on the bottom right. And the one that I usually use for this is follow up, wait, number two. So just real quick on canned responses, we have insert. And then you scroll down here and then you have save. And then the last thing is delete. If you ever want to come up with your own, you just click new canned response. You give it a title and then it saves whatever information you have in here under whatever title you have just selected here. So I'm just going to cancel that. We're going to click it again, canned response. And we're going to look for the insert tab which is the first column here. And I look for follow-up number two, this one. Follow-up number one is kind of weird, just so you know. Follow-up number two is pretty straightforward. It says, how are you? Not heard back for a while. Keep curious if you're possibly still interested in getting some work done. Just checking to make sure. Thank you, let us know if you have any questions. And then you want to pay attention though, because a lot of the canned responses, for some reason when I created them, they have my information in here. So if you're a sales rep, or if you're Matt or anybody else, we're gonna actually set up one for you, Rama. And, uh, or you can just change the name here. You can just change the name here to whatever you wanna call it, Rama or Matt, whatever you wanna do. But we don't wanna send two of them as my point. So watch out for that. This part here, delete it. We're just gonna send it as Matt because I'm going out of town and it's already hooked up to this email. Eventually we're gonna get Rama his own email. Don't forget to change the name, by the way. As you saw, that was Simone. So that's the canned response that, um, put in there, Kathleen. And then that's the way you can follow up with multiple people relatively quickly to blast through all these different names over here inside a pipe drive. And you can see these ones that I've already reached out to because the color actually changes to white. Uh, one other thing to point out on pipe drive, when you Click here and then you mark anything complete. When you're doing it on the laptop, Pipedrive actually sets you up to remind you, which is the really beautiful thing about it. On your cell phone, unfortunately, it doesn't do the same quite thing, the same thing. So let's click this for instance. Say we completed this, you check it off, boom, a screen pops up immediately saying, what's next? That way it continually has you remembering to follow up so that you're continually putting new tasks in there. Because the most important thing inside of sales is multiple exposures, whether it's a phone call or an email and most sales procedures before anybody commits to saying yes, typically will take between seven to 12 exposures before they say yes. If it is a larger project, it could take up to 15 to 20 exposures. So this is the beauty of Pipedrive because it continuously reminds you on what it is. So there's all these different tabs here. There's calls, on-site, whatever you want to use as far as follow-ups and this and that. But what happens is on your cell phone, you use it, you have to then click to multiple screens in order to locate each one of these different tasks. Whatever works better for you, it's up to you how, however you'd wanna do it. But what I like to do is I keep it in the on-site just because when you go on your cell phone, then it's all in one screen. So your on-site here would just say,
follow up. And the cool thing about the, the laptop is it saves your little things. We'll put it back in there as Wednesday, follow up, save. There, it's back in there. Just a little run through on pipe drive on how to manage things and blast through these different. Oh, and my point is it takes a lot more time to actually call people than blast through and do a canned response just to ping somebody really quick. It's up to you. Calling's usually better, leaving a voicemail with an actual phone number and all that. But if you've already done it a couple times and they're not answering, then an email typically is a great way to do it. So that's my recommendation. Send. Done. Thank you.